Ayan mga boxing. O, oh, so, syempre, andito naman tayo sa ating uh, mini discussion. O, oh, <laughs> nakikita yung aking ha. <laughs> uh, mini discussions. Syempre, may nag-request dyan. Uh, gusto daw natin, gusto daw niyang i-discuss yung, actually, marami naman nag-request sa inyo. Gusto niyang i-discuss yung crossover. Okay, ano daw yung basic, basic function at trabaho ng crossover. At yan ang ating mapaliwanan ngayon. Okay, mga boxing. So, syempre, alam niyo na ha. Ah, nakikita ng konti, mara-rated SPG tayo rito, mga bossing, ha? Ah, pose. <laughs> At ito na, mga bossing. So, again, so, since request nyo, dito tayo, ang discussion natin for today is crossover. Okay, maliban sa brand, kahit anong brand man yan, basta crossover po. Actually, bibigyan mo na kayo ng basic tip. Dalawang klase, no? Crossover. May passive at active. Ang passive po, yung makikita nyo nakakabit sa inyong mga speakers. Para, uh, it's also work as a dividing network okay pero kaya ba ng active and passive yung active po yung active po yung ginagamit natin sa ating mga sound system yung meron tayong uh, kakayanan at kapasidad na i-adjust ang mga frequency levels sa iba't ibang frequency ranges upon the availability of the channel that is designated within the actual unit <coughs> okay po mga bossy medyo mababawal natin yan para naman tayo o, oh, ibigyan mo na namin kayo ng basic para sa crossover. So, sabi ni Google, again na, lagi ko sinasabi, walang masamang tumingin sa Google. But, spe, uh, lagi kong tinuturo sa inyo, galit si Mangko, na, do your own research, do your, do your own, uh, learn the way, uh, it, it is fun learning in the way that you are happy with it and you are satisfied with it. Mahirap pong matuto nang hindi mo gusto yung natututunan mo. O yung para lang may masabi ka sa channel, sa YouTube, eh gagalingan mo sa magsasalita or pagtatype sa keyboard. Pero hindi mo naman lubos ang naiintindihan deep within. Okay? Okay, so audio crossovers are type of electronic filter circuitry used in a range of audio applications to split up an audio signal into two or more frequency ranges as, as I've said earlier. Hindi ko pa nababasa yun dito. So that the signals can be sent to drivers that are designed for different frequency ranges. Ano yung mga drivers na yun? Yung mga amplifiers. So diba? Designed for different frequency ranges. Diba po, meron tayong power amp which is mostly used as for bass or low or pang ilalim. Basically, and meron tayong ginagamit na pang mid and meron din tayong ginagamit na pang high. Crossover are often described as two-way or three-way which indicate respectively. Depende sa setup. Okay? That the cross... Oh, uh, wait, wait, ha? Uh, asan ako? Which indicates... That the crossover splits a given signal into two frequency ranges or three frequency ranges. Crossover are used in loudspeaker cabinets, power amplifiers, and consumer electronics. Hi-fi, home cinema sound, and car audio, and pro audio, and musical instrument amplifier products. So, mga live band siya. And, um... <clears throat> so, hindi natin masyadong papahabain dito. Dahil, ayun naman yung basic. So, ito yung isa pang, uh, uh, ano niya, no? one basic function. Crossovers are used because most individual loudspeaker drivers are incapable of covering the entire audio spectrum. What is that? Uh, loudspeakers cannot, for example, you have uh, la, uh, floor standing speakers. It cannot cover those low frequencies, mid frequencies, and high frequencies in one. So, kaya dapat po natin, kailangan natin ng crossover para maisiwalay siya at maiseparate ang bawat tunog. O, lumalabas na naman. At pagkakabot ka, ano ka mabuti? So, very simple. Crossovers, may nagsasabi dyan, uh, sino ba yan? May nag-comment dyan sa isang post natin. Parang baliwala daw yung equalizer kung may crossover, which is pala. Okay? Again, equalizer, basic function is equalization. No, hindi yung ah, yung yung naging more option doon is the more of the, the 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 more settings you have, option of you have on your audio sound and music or audio cost, co customizing. No po, ang crossover po. Crossover is you know, uh, to, to send different frequency signals. Kung bababawa natin eh, yung, yung kanyang ihiwalay ang mid, ang high, ang low into different drivers yun po ang trabaho niya 
So, sa so nagsasabi po na, sir, parang baliwala din pala yung ano, bossing baliwala din pala yung pala, sir, kung meron kang crossover. Very, very wrong. Okay, ang sabi ko nga, bago po tayo, kasi sana ko nagtanong eh, ang, ang, ang hindi siya nagtanong eh, ang, <laughs> kumbaga, ang sinasabi niya is alam niya na yun. <laughs> alam niya na agad. So, little piece of advice, <clears throat> mga boss. Hindi lahat ng nakita mo, nabasa mo, na, na panood mo, ay yun na ang tama. So, dapat, Magkaroon tayo ng uh, hindi masamang magtanong, hindi masamang tumanggap ng opinion, at hindi masama na matuto ka sa iba. Because wisdom is infinity. Learning is infinity. Okay? okay? Di ba mga bossy? Uh, ang katalinuhan at ang uh, ingenuity ay hindi po natatapos sa isang punto. Hindi nyo pwede sabihin na alam nyo na ang lahat or kit me. <laughs> <laughs> ganito, ganyan. Okay mga bossing, yan ang aking laging advice. Be humble enough to always put your foot on the ground. Kahit ako, mga bossing, ha? ako eh, may, may, hindi ko man alam lahat yan. What I, am I sharing is those things that I really knew and I experienced using it since I was a small kid. Yes, I was a small kid. Made na ako system. Nagkaroon kami ng first mobile na kung alam nyo pa yung mga cassette tape, <coughs> etc. <coughs> Yan, high school kami noon, magkakaibigan. Naghati-hati kami para sa, yun yung mga gamit sa bahay, mga sama-sama namin para magkaroon kami ng mobile. I do also have knowledge because medyo parte ng course ko. <coughs> hindi lang dahil sa hobby ko. Hindi ko natutunan sa school. Yung mga sinishare ko sa inyo, hindi ko natutunan sa school. Natutunan ko yung raw experience. Although yung technicality, 